morning, good morning. I am here with your weekly wisdom. Uh, I wanna talk about marriage today. I came across a post on one of my mom groups that I follow and it was a conversation between her and her husband um, and in the, <clears throat> in the description, uh, she was talking about how he games all the time and he doesn't take care of the baby and um, this and that. And you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, get a divorce, get full custody, child support, blah, blah, blah. I'm not that person. I'm not gonna tell you that. Um, I think that, and this is coming from a domestic violent survivor, I think that we are using domestic violence sometimes as a ruse. Um, and it, it really is just a slap in the face for us who have been in these situations and have been controlled. Um, a lot of relationships nowadays, especially when people are posting things online instead of talking to their partner, that's causing issues. Uh, that's a lack of communication with your partner and it's a lack of respect. Um, I talked to my husband about everything and we have not been on, you know, a steady journey. Like we have been up and down throughout the years. Um, there's been, <clears throat> in the past, there's been violence on both parts. Um, and it's, I can't explain the feeling of actual control and actual violence. Um, before my husband, I was with a guy, um, not gonna name names, but I was with a guy. Um, and I'm really surprised that I'm here. You don't know control until you don't have anything. You, you don't have access to your phone, your laptop, um, even your diary. Um, and it didn't matter how much I tried to communicate, he didn't want to. And this month is about domestic violence. Um, I've done a lot of research, obviously, because I'm doing the true crime stories. Came across a lot of true crime stories that break my heart. And it just very much bothers me that it's just so easily thrown around now. Um, and really, all these relationships need is some counseling and some respect for one another and some communication. And stop posting about it on the internet. That's, I understand support groups, but there's a difference between needing support and just running your partner's name through the mud. That's just, it's disrespectful. And I am in no way trying to, cause I don't know the whole story. He, he could very much, very well be controlling and everything, but the way that she put it, it wasn't. It was just a lack of communication and respect on both parties. And I want everybody to understand that with domestic violence, with real control, that there's no way out except for running. Um, the last fight I remember, he dislocated two of my discs in my spine. It caused a miscarriage. I had this bruised and um, ripped open. My lip was bleeding like crazy. I couldn't get stopped. Um, this was bruised right here. He had twisted me in a way that um, dislocated my ankle and I had to pop it back into place. Um, and I remember just his weight like I, I'm really tiny I'm five foot even um, and at the time I was like a hundred pounds I was very very small and I just remember I couldn't move and I couldn't 
couldn't get out. And I, I just remember grabbing something and like hitting him really hard and I ran. I called my dad and that's when he packed up all of his stuff and I never saw him again. And when I talked about it, I was told that I'm crazy bitch, I'm this, I'm that. Um, we've got to do better. Guys, we've got to do better. And I sincerely hope that if this lady is in an abusive relationship that she gets out but we've got to stop using it as a ruse guys because there are real victims out here that are terrified to talk we saw it with Gabby Petito abuse is not a ruse I have almost died several times. I've had sprains. I've had bruises and cuts. And it's scary. And it's really scary. So, we have to communicate our feelings and we have to respect each other and we've got to stop just posting and trying to retaliate and attack no dad deserves to be fined thousands of dollars a month for child support and you're sitting there talking about keeping the baby from him that's not okay I'm very much a men's advocate I don't believe that all men are scum. I, I'm a part of the father's movement. Um, it just breaks my heart to like, to see all of this. So I really had to just share that with you today. Please stop using domestic violence as a ruse and please start communicating with your partner instead of social media. That's where it all starts. Me and Justin used to do that when we first got married. I was 19, he was 20. And he, I would just run his name through the dirt. And then he would run my name through the dirt and it was just this battle. And then we have all of these people who hate one person and not the other, or just quit talking to us altogether because we were dramatic and it was annoying. So, Do what you need to do for yourself and stop bringing it to social media. Talk to your partner, communicate. That is a priority and necessity in marriage. I'm not a genius at it, but we just celebrated our 